Mother in a waitress uniform in a pancake house. Mother in a waitress uniform in a pancake house in the eye of sailors peering. Mother, dark of eye and ground, granddaughter of Absalom, blood of Scytha, left so many times you learned little of loving but leaving. She was drunk, she fell from the window, her foot caught between two pipes, hung by broken bones. He wouldn't let the children use the phone. She was drunk, she lit the match, the water heater exploded, burned her hair and lashes. Oh, how she cried on the floor. He wouldn't get up from his chair. Every child cometh from darkness, small open force unhidden. Light transfers from the formless, smatters across the given world. And what of the mother who chose not a boy or a girl, but fun before the breakthrough? Mother of freckled arms and white ponies, fog glazes your eyes. Weighed down hard, you hum the song, and through prison bars of home, tell your children, no matter what you do, my dear, my dear, don't have children. Thus, naked among green and white, blowing foam, they slept, faces on elbows, elbows on grass, inches from barnacle-covered steps, leading to starfish tender in their rhythms, until the sun rose like the mother of all flowers, burning on the green. No matter what you do, don't. I'm just checking on my dog. <laughs> Continent of light. <laughs> the no angel walks from slivered day moon to child sea. Yellow trumpet vines drape stucco walls, shock against a brilliant sky. Every syllable enters her eyes. Water birds of pleasure and cupped cloud bursts glide into the port of longing, long curved pier of dreams. Landscape of starfish rearranging their arms, armor-plated barnacles cemented head first on steps descending. Love potion of breeze and half-eaten sky, double note of fog, lead to evening's painless window, white scarfed reach of sea. A small sleeve of flowers wanted tears, but they were with a fishing boat chugging away. A cover is needed to keep the light from the eye. Sometimes it's a lie. Love is neither sea nor concrete, but mathematics, multiplication, subtraction. How many were there then? Brittle stars, pink stars, six-rayed bats. The walls are covered with it, wood and glass and grain, doors held open with little more than a hip or kicked shut carried home in protective pockets, the stars died slowly. How does one let go of love? A sketched mastodon is as easily erased as a hummingbird, or a hummingbird is as difficult to wipe out as a mastodon. Where is the shore of your dream, little boat drifting to crystal fiddles? The port is a mouth, blue bed against a brick wall. The no angel remembers kisses, they sit together, the only ones to survive, having perished, when seabirds v west to east, east to west, wings tilted, free against the world. She lies on her back, mossy step of stars, counting each new light under the rhyming sea, trusting they'll last a while. Where's Gizmo? Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I live in Sonoma County, and there's a state park there called Annadel. We're trying to keep open, like all the other state parks. Um, White Horse. Through the woods of Annadel, past trees gently arched, trunks and stones moss matted, comes the fair stallion steady on the trail. One angel on a treetop sings one note, repeated, repeated. Milky surface of stream, little wall of water falling into it, 
and the white horse coming nearer with a steady sound beating under the boughs in the darkness of woods, as if by magic, moving towards to where, upon the ribbed edge, he passes, trails a veil of light that shakes us as though wind, as though ecstasy. <laughs> Joy in the air we have, and in what we have on earth, Pablo, Pablo Neruda. My chihuahua, Federico Garcia Lorca, is twitching on my lap, making sounds more like a kitten than a famous Spanish dog. As his dream enlarges to a 40s cinema screen, they say, dogs see only in black and white. He says, yip, without knowing. This morning, he saw a light flash from the white legs of a horse, smelled shadows I once swam in, swallowed the suffering held in the palm of a woman bent low to comment on his tiny sand-colored body. She held her cat tightly in her arms as she did the day before and the day before. It's always the first time. She asks his name and makes a new observation. Today, as he sniffed around a patch of weeds, she said, Oh, that's how he eats. She was pleased, and so we let her believe. Canis Lupus Garcia Lorca, together we wander the world of shoes and clouds. And as he turns out dream after dream, the minutes of the night fall like golden leaves, and my own dreams fill with honey. This, uh, thank you. <laughs> um, this is a, about a different kind of dog. Um, Winston Churchill suffered depression, and he called it his black dog. This poem is called Black Dog. I have a black dog on my back today, Winston Churchill. He lumbers up the drive with a paper clamped in his mouth. The news is never good. Your best friend is dead. More rain is coming, you've lost your job, etc. As he pads down the narrow hall, sniffing, his massive tail drags along the floor, never thumping the walls. The dark shape stalks you, sits firmly on your chest, obscures your impossible future. All love is shut from him and from you. His coat is silky, his breast silent. His pointed teeth break through any light, shatter mirrors into millions. Staring dimly into the fragments, it's plain to see. Multiplication is his subject, and then subtraction. Uh, thank you. Thank you.